Hello, my name is Julian Wessel from JW Astronomy and today I want to present you my latest project, sending a camera to the edge of space. Since I was a small child, I want to be an astronaut, observing our beautiful planet from above and reaching for the stars. To make this dream come true, in a small way of course, I plan a flight as high as I can get with amateur tools. At first, I wanted to build a rocket, which would carry a camera into high altitude. But it turns out that this would be very expensive and dangerous. A cheap and safer solution is a weather balloon filled with helium. With an ascending rate of 4 to 7 meters per second, it reaches a maximum altitude of 35,000 meters. At 35,000 meters altitude, we reach a layer of our atmosphere which is called stratosphere. The stratosphere is the second major layer of the Earth's atmosphere, just above the troposphere and below the mesosphere. At moderate latitudes, the stratosphere is situated between 10 and 50 km altitude above the surface. The stratosphere is very dry, air there contains little water vapor. Because of this, few clouds are found in this layer. Almost all clouds occur on the lower, more humid troposphere. At 35 km altitude, the sky is pitch black and it looks like you are already in space. This picture shows the Space Shuttle Endeavour in front of the layers of our atmosphere. The orange layer is the troposphere, where all of the weather and clouds which we typically watch and experience are generated and contained. This orange layer gives way to the whitest stratosphere and then into the mesosphere. My goal for the next weeks is to prepare the best I can for a weather balloon flight to the stratosphere and bring it down on Earth safe. In following videos, I will explain which equipment I use and what preparations have to be done. If you're interested in this project, subscribe my YouTube channel or visit my website jwastronomy.com for updates. I'm very excited about this project and I hope you will follow my journey to the edge of space. Thank you for watching.